Karibu tena leo tuzungumze na kuchambua mambo mbalimbali ya kisiasa. Na leo uh, tunazungumzia miaka mitatu ya uongozi wa Rais Dr. Samia Suluh Hassan. Yako mambo mengi mazuri ambayo yanazungumzwa na wadau tofauti tofauti na kila mmoja anazungumza experience yake ndani ya miaka mitatu chini ya uongozi wa Dr. Samia Suru Hassan. Leo niko na bwana Junior Deo Philip Njombe. Uh, huyu ni mchambuzi wetu ambaye amekuwa akituchambulia mambo kadha wa kadha yale ambayo yanahusu siasa na leo anatupa experience yake kwa sababu kuna experience nzuri ambayo nimeisikia kutoka kwake ambayo akitupatia sisi ukafahamu kile ambacho yeye alikiexperience alike au amekipitia ndani ya miaka mitatu na namna ambavyo anazungumzia uongozi wa rais Dr. Samia Suru Hassan. Mimi ni John Mwonga uh, endelea kukana. Um, mimi kwa kumzungumzia um, kwanza unakumbuka Dr. Samia Suru Hassan alichukua nchi yetu ikiwa imetoka kwenye matatizo mazito. Sawa eh? it was uh, uh, for the very first time for us for a serving president to die in power unakumbuka um mheshimiwa rais john pombe magufuli alikufa akiwa madarakani sawa so, uh, haijawahi kutokea katika historia ya nchi yetu for a serving president sawa so, uh, kudondoka akiwa yuko yuko madarakani sawa so, uh, Um, that was one but two uh, dr samia sulu hassan alichukua nchi yetu ikiwa do you remember there was something called covid 19 ndio uh, rais alichukua nchi ikiwa iko kwenye and uh, the stand of tanzania due to covid 19 brought a lot of contradictions across the globe you know everyone was imposing lockdown and what 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 but for us so it was a little bit different by that time so so that brought um, a lot of contradictions so uh ba kati ya nchi yetu na nchi zingine nchi zingine na uanda wa ki wa ki wa ki wa ki wa ki ulimwengu sawa lakini viko vitu viwili mimi nilifurahia sana uh, when president um, uh, dr samia sulu hassan came in power one ile siku alivyoenda kuchoma chanjo ya covid 19 the day that she went for vaccine that was a very big day for some of us you know she had proven beyond the reasonable doubt that and gave us enough confidence that huu ni ugonjwa na utapi utapita sawa lakini tukifanya jitihada yani when we take the precautions to chukue sawa so mwanzoni kila mtu unajua there were a lot of Uh, words a lot of stories uh, behind covid-19 but that one when dr samia sulu hassan got vaccinated in public kile kilikuwa ni kitu kikubwa sana kwetu sisi kama wananchi wa kawaida sawa because our president has proven beyond the reason of doubt that huu ni ugonjwa kawaida na watupate chanjo na mambo mengine yataendelea yataendelea but but um, by that time i remember i was in uganda okay trying to wind up winding up with my batch and um, in uganda by that time <laughs> you know it was for the first time even me too to uh, come across these words curfew <laughs> lockdown you know ndio niliona kwa mara ya kwa ya kwanza nchini Uganda sawa eh sasa you know it was terrible very very 
terrible. Sasa kitu ilitokea baada ya kwanza chanjo ya COVID kuja. Sawa Na vile Dr. Samia Suluhasan aliruhusu sasa wa Tanzania huku wapate chanjo. Sawa eh. Ruhusa watu wote wapate wapate chanjo. Sawa bwana. Um in Uganda ni maneno ya lockdown hata ilifika time <laughs> ilikuwa inataka kuua watu sawa people there were no jobs shops everything were shut no markets nothing people were suffering and i will also want to take this opportunity to thank uh, president of Uganda people were suffering but him deciding to distribute food okay and some of us the international students who were stranded in hostels and whatsoever he helped us we really thank him because i remember one day very early in the morning when we woke up we saw a UPDF car down the hostel and uh, you know for some of us who have been to Uganda we really know what it means by a UPDF car to be uh, i mean uh, aside your house so uh, so we started worried but then later on the UPDF soldiers called us and we went down when we reached there Hello it was different what we were thinking was very very different very very different it was president Yoweri Kaguta Museven who had sent the UPDF soldiers to deliver food to us and you know <laughs> it was 6 kg of kaunga ugali 6 kg and 3 kg of vijanjaro beans it was sent by Pres- president Museven himself to a hostel you know the situation during covid was terrible but also i thank president Museven for welcoming our president uh, dr samia sulu hasan kwa sababu rais samia wakati ameingia madarakani nchi ya kwanza alitembelea ilikuwa ni kenya then the second country she visited was uganda so and I, i was in uganda when she came to uganda so I, so that very moment when she left kule uganda ndio tukapata ruhusa so uh, our embassy ika ikatafuta special hire ya kutusaidia sisi kurudi kurudi tanzania but now you see john all these were the consequences of covid covid 19 So, lakini vile rais aliingia madarakani dr samia suluhasa na alipata vaccine in public hiyo ikatupa confidence sisi wananchi kwamba anything is very very possible and this thing is okay kwa sababu rais kama ameweza kupata chanjo sisi ni nani sijui unaelewa john eh? that was one but two um, kitu kingine mimi nimependa the way she opened up the car the country sawa so, eh? um, You know wanasema diplomacy is just like a flower okay the more you water it the more it grows the more you ignore it the more it dies the natural death sawa so, sasa dr samia suluhasan kitu kingine nimependa sana kutoka kwake wakati ameingia madarakani from a very beginning yeye amejitahidi sana sana kufungua nchi yetu na kila sehemu anaenda sawa haendi kurudi mkono mtu mkono mtu sawa everywhere she goes she come back home with a parcel everywhere she goes she come back home with a, a parcel sawa wewe unakumbuka alikuwa dubai hapo juzi kati wakati kule hanang matatizo yanatokea sawa unaona within 24 hours aliweza ku raise 1 billion dollar kuleta nyumba ya kusaidia watu. Sawa? Who can do that? 
who can do that it's dr samia sulu sulu hasan sawa bana lakini vile vile diplomasia ya uchumi ndio diplomasia ambayo yeye anaitibiri and good enough she work the talk the talk tunaona investors watalii mabiashara the, the country is open open oh open to everyone okay sawa ndugu junior uh, tukirudi sasa kwenye swala la uongozi namna ambavyo rais samia amekuwa akionyesha uongozi wake kama mwanamke uongozi wake kama mwanamama namna ambavyo unatafsiriwa wewe kama kijana ambaye una tafsiri yako kama kijana uongozi wa rais samia ndani ya miaka mitatu tafsiri ipi ambayo unaipata okay um, mimi mimi na na na, na, na mtazama yeye kwa jicho pana kidogo sawa si, eh, si, si tazami tu kwamba yeye ni kiongozi mwanamke sawa eh, mimi na mtazama yeye kama rais wangu sawa i look at her as my president as a commander in chief in chief sawa eh? um, lakini kwa ujumla uongozi wa dr Samia Sulu Hassan umeleta confidence ya ajabu sawa confidence iliyopita viwango sawa kwa wanawake sawa na kwa jamii kwa ujumla kwa ujumla and dr Samia Sulu Hassan has proven beyond the reasonable doubt that women can lead and therefore mimi mimi natazama pia um, mimi natazama pia namna ambavyo perception za uongozi wa wanawake ulivyokuwa miaka ya nyuma kwa mfano sawa it was seen mwanamke akipata nafasi sehemu fulani anasiliba yani anaziba njia kwa wanawake wengine kupi kupita this yeah, dr samia sulu hasan eh, has proven has proven beyond the reasonable doubt that she is capable of paving a way for so many other women you see john haijawahi kutokea haijawahi kutokea to have women in sensitive very very sensitive departments the ministry of defense sawa waziri ni ma mama dr tax sawa the ministry of um legal and constitution sawa katiba na sheria waziri ni ma balozi dr pindichana mama yetu sawa the minister of the ministry of gender and the so called watoto na vitu kama hivyo sawa dr dorothy kwajima sawa huku kwingine umi sawa na wengi and so many other women sawa hao wote dr samia sulu hasa ndio yuko pale ana amefungua njia kwa hao hao wote na speaker john nona dr tuli axon ni speaker wa ipu interparliamentary uh, union sawa so, it was hard before kwa wamama kushikana mikono kwenye nafasi za namna hii dr samia ame prove hiyo narrative upside down upside down sawa so, eh? dr tulia ndio yuko kule size anawakilisha nchi sawa so, mzee vitu hivyo vyote vitu hivyo vyote mimi nafikiri vinapaswa kuwa somo kwa sisi kwetu sisi wa Tanzania wa Tanzania na somo lenyewe ni hili 
tufikirie namna gani tutaweza kuongeza nafasi za wanawake kwenye uongozi mbali kwenye nafasi mbalimbali za za uongozi kwa sababu tumeona kwa Samia tunapata uongozi tunapata malezi rais anaweza kusimama yeye mwenyewe binafsi akasema hataki ku, ku wote ni wa wake we utampata wapi rais wa namna hiyo wewe ni, 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 ni kwa mtazamo wako sasa um, umezungumzia mambo mazuri mengi sana kuna watu ambao naweza ngazungumzia vijana wao wanasema kwamba vijana ilikuwa ni shida masuala ya ajira na vijana kila nchi duniani swala la ajira ni tatizo <coughs> kuingia kwa rais Samia madarakani labda unaona kuna ajira zimeongezeka uh, kuna namna yoyote kwenye sekta ya vijana kuna mabadiliko ambayo unayaona vijana vijana ametugusa sana e, hata juzi mimi nilikuwa naona sababu na e, askari 11000 wameajiriwa sawa wa vitengo tofauti tofau, tofauti tofauti sawa kwenye ualimu sawa kwenye uhamiaji sawa kwenye nyanja mbalimbali mba, afya sawa huko kote ajira zinamwagi zinamwagika sawa um you see john there is a narrative ya kulaumu sawa na mimi sawa bwana ni niwe mkweli sawa you see tuna vyo vingapi Tanzania kila chuo kila mwaka sawa kina graduatisha wanafunzi zaidi ya laki mbili au laki tatu wengine sawa maelfu na mae sawa it is impossible for all these people to rely on serikali inaweza kuajiri watu wangapi sawa bwana so the kind of discussion i will also want to hear sawa nilikuwa na tamani kusikia pia mpango wa serikali namna gani inaweza kuzalisha ajira nyingi kwa vijana kwa vijana sawa namna gani serikali inaweza kuempower sawa Maka, mashirika binafsi sawa eh yaweze kuajiri vijana vijana wengi zaidi wengi zaidi sawa lakini vile vile lakini vile vile haya maswali sawa dr samia sulu hasan yuko na mpa yuko na mpango sawa yuko na, na mpango na ameahidi kutotuacha hivi 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 sawa so it's now three, three years sawa miaka mingapi mitatu makofi mangapi matatu sawa tuendelee huku huku mbele na ye na yeye sawa so kwa kumaliza bwana junior uh, what do you ex- expect kwa uh, miaka kadhaa hii ambayo imebakia kwa rais Samia Samia has proven beyond the reasonable doubt that she can deliver she is delivering and she will deliver more and more and more and more and moreover kwangu mimi napenda zaidi she is not only the mother to abdul she is the mother to all of her all of us sawa john eh? kwa hiyo hui mama hui mama tumuombe sawa eh? mungu amtunze ili aweze kufanya mambo makubwa zaidi kwenye nchi yetu sawa eh? yes na kushukuru sana bwana junior kwa wewe mpenzi mtazamaji ambaye unatazama kupitia youtube basi usiache kusubscribe ku like pamoja na kuwashirikisha wenzio na usiache kuweka maoni yako hapa chini kuhusiana na miaka mitatu ya Dr. Rais Samia Suluh Hassan Mama <tune>